What's up guys? So as you can see from my horrific tan lines here, I just came back from the beach. <laughs> I came back from San Diego um, in California, in Southern California, and I ended up going to a nude beach and I thought I would share the experience with you guys. So this beach, um, which is called Black's Beach, is a quote unquote gay nude beach. So if you look at it on Google Maps, it doesn't say that. It doesn't even say that it's a nude beach, which I find shocking because I can only imagine how many families are like, oh, let's stop at this beach. And then they show up and find out what it is once they get there. And you, you know, they're like, kids, cover your eyes. Um, but it's, it's like unofficially a gay nude beach. Um, so I saw it as just a normal beach on Google Maps near where I was staying in San Diego. So I thought, oh, I should try this beach out. And coincidentally, a few days before I ended up going, my friend reached out to me and said, hey, while you're there, you should go to the to the gay nude beach. And so I realized that was it. And I'm glad that I knew that ahead of time, just so I could mentally prepare, not just show up and like, there's a bunch of naked people. So I figured some of you guys would be curious about how these beaches are because I've never been to one before. I've always heard about them. I have friends who have gone to them. So for the first time, I really got to like experience the phenomenon that is a new beach. So first off, this specific beach, it's quite a hike to get down to the beach. Like you have to go down this humongous cliff and it takes some time. It takes, it's probably like a 10 to 15 minute hike down to get there. And then of course the hike up is, you know, more work. Um, but it's fantastic because as a result, it's very calm and isolated and like sequestered from the rest of the world. It's not one of the more touristy, easily accessible, um, beaches of San Diego. So just from the start, I appreciated that and I showed up and I would say probably about half the people are nude. It's not like you're required to be naked because it's a nude beach. A lot of people had their clothes on. Um, some people have some clothes on and some clothes off, you know, kind of like on a European beach, like a lot of women had maybe like the, the bottom part of the bikini, but their, their breasts were hanging out. Um, and I would say most of the people there were men and presumably gay men just based on um, the fact that it's kind of notorious as a gay nude beach and also just the way that they tended to look at other men or like try to make eye contact or whatever. So I arrived playing it cool, you know, like I'm just here to observe, to experience this for the first time. I have to say it was quite jarring as soon as you show up that you just see men like frolicking <laughs> With their, with their penises hanging out and, and I don't know, with women it's not as jarring I guess because I've been to beaches that are not nude beaches but like Miami Beach even, a lot of women there are from Europe or they're from um, South America like Brazil so they're used to more sort of liberal, free sort of environment of the beach so a lot of women there have their breasts out like I guess it, it doesn't it didn't seem as jarring but the men just walking around with their private parts hanging out and I have to say, I came to this beach with the assumption that most people there would be unattractive, like, you know, just like gross, severely overweight old men or like misshapen men with tiny penises. And I was actually wrong. I will say that probably about 80% of the of the people naked there were that description um, But the rest were actually like normal fit Some actually like pretty attractive Guys walking around and I was pleasantly surprised by that um, I will say there were a lot of shriveled up penises and I guess it's even more jarring when it's on like a big body and you're just <laughs> You see this like little thing hanging out, but I guess it makes sense. You're at the beach, you know, you're not. I, I had this epiphany after leaving the beach. I was like, you're not really used to seeing naked men not erect, right? Because like most of the time that you see somebody naked, they're aroused, right? It's a, it's a sexual situation, whether it's in real life or porn or whatever. So I think that's why it was even more just strange to see a bunch of like flaccid penises hanging out. I should mention by the way that the only penises that were impressive <laughs> were the, the ethnically ambiguous ones, go figure. So anyway, I'm playing it cool, I'm just, you know, laying low <laughs> on the beach and I, and, and I actually got comfortable enough to go naked. Now I wasn't confident enough or um, carefree enough, I should say, 
to walk around naked or to go in the water naked, but I at least laid on my towel naked, on my back, on my stomach, the different positions, because I figured, you know, when in Rome, first off, and second off, I was like, there are places of my body that haven't seen sunlight since like 1993. <laughs> so I, I kind of felt like my body deserved it at that point. And I have to say, I felt very comfortable, and I guess it's like a monkey see, monkey do kind of thing. When you see all these other people naked, suddenly you don't feel so self-conscious that you have to be restricted and do, you know, what normal people do. I just, I just took it off, and I felt very, no pun intended, I felt very free, and it was very liberating, and just just this non-judgmental zone like nobody's like laughing because they're used to it they know what this environment is and people are just like having a good time so honestly i would totally do it again like it was actually just an interesting pleasant experience and the uh pleasant surprise of the eye candy just like you know was was the cherry on top i must say have you guys ever been to a new beach <laughs>